Now we are familiar with variables and basic data types of Python. And there is no doubt that you can print messages on the terminal window. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to receive input from the users. So, we're going to write a Python program that asks the user's name and address. Then it uses these to print a sentence. Before that, let's change the theme of the PyCharm so that this code looks better. To do that, click on File, then go to Settings. Here, click on Appearance. On the right hand side, you will find a drop down menu with the title Theme. From here, you can choose the theme you prefer. I'm going to go with High Contrast. Click on Apply, then OK. So let's get back to the main topic. First of all, create a new Python file and name it Lesson 3. Then collapse the project panel. We're going to use the input function to ask users their information. It is a built-in function in Python. Now inside of the parentheses, we have to write some instruction for the users. For example, what is your name? Whatever the user will type, this input function will receive it. Now we need a variable to store it. Let's store it in a variable named name. Then use print function, write username colon space. After that, use a plus symbol. This plus symbol is for concatenation. It means adding the variable with this text. Let's run the program. The terminal window is allowing us to type here because we used the input function. I'm typing my name, Nurizuman Faruqi. After pressing the enter from the keyboard, we get this result. I think now you understand what is happening in this program. Whenever I'm typing my name, this input function is receiving that, storing it in this name variable, and we know what does the print function do. It prints something. Here is the text. With that, using this plus symbol, we concatenated whatever we have in this variable. And finally, after running the program, this is the output we have got. Username, Nurjaman Faraki. Let's modify the program a little. I'm going to use another input function. This time it says, where are you from? And this response will be stored in a variable named address. This time we are going to print first the variable, then we are using concatenation, then in a set of quotation, write lives in, give a space, then again use concatenation and type this address variable. Run the program. I'm typing my name again. Now the second question. Where are you from? I'm typing Dhaka. And we can see Nurjaman Faruqi lives in Dhaka. We have made a little mistake here. There is no space in between the last name and leaves. So let's add a space here, save it, and run the program from once again. Again, I'm typing my name. And then the city. 
Now everything looks fine. Nurjaman Faruqi lives in Dhaka. This is how you can take inputs from the users in Python. Let's go to the next lesson.